it is officially fall time. The weather's turning a little bit colder, which I absolutely love. And in 23 days time, I'll be on Catalina Island doing the half marathon, going for my third straight title there. The first time I ran there was in 2018 when I was prepping for my ultra marathon early the next year. Ended up winning it and setting the course record. So I went back again in 2019 and did the same thing, won it and reset my course record by a few seconds. There was no race in 2020 on the island due to the pandemic, but there is gonna be one this year, which is super exciting. Unfortunately, I'm not quite in the shape I would like to be and only three weeks out. So we're gonna have to put in some hard training these next three weeks to hopefully get in as best shape as I possibly can to take the three-peat home. It's definitely not an easy course. 13.1 miles, probably about 25 to 2700 feet of elevation gain throughout. So it's definitely no joke. We're gonna be heading over to El Moro today, one of my favorite spots that I trained all the time to prep for my ultra marathon. Um, very, very tough terrain, rolling hills throughout. You can get a ton of elevation gain very, very quickly in just a few miles. So we're gonna be hitting that today for a workout and probably gonna be hitting there um, quite frequently over these next three weeks to try to get in as best hill shape as I possibly can. And I'm gonna be posting videos throughout these next three weeks showing you my prep for the Catalina Island Half Marathon. Let's do it. Gonna go with one of the tried and true breakfasts, just a piece of toast, peanut butter, banana, perfect fuel for the run. Let's get it. All right, so we are here at Newport Coast. Just gonna do six miles, three out and three back. Uh, rolling hills a lot on the six mile run. And then mile two to three is pretty, pretty steep downhill. So on the way back, miles three to four, very, very steep back uphill and then rolling hills. Probably about a thousand feet of elevation gain in just the six miles. So Garmin watch is officially dead, guys. I'm just wearing it because I'm just so used to wearing it and I feel like weird or like naked kind of without it. But if you follow me on Strava, that's why I haven't been seeing it. It just won't hold a charge at all anymore. And I'm kind of just deciding what kind of watch I want to get before I uh, buy another one. Leave your comment down below. What watch should I get next for uh, running and what's your guys' favorite? What's best with battery life and GPS tracking and all that good stuff? Leave your comment down below which watch I should get next. Let's run hard. What's up guys? So just wanted to do a little commentary on the run. First of all, sorry, I'm on my phone here, so it's not gonna be as smooth as when I'm on the GoPro. Gonna be a little choppy because I wanted to carry the phone with me so I could have the GPS numbers after the run. But yeah, like I said, this first little part, very, very steep uphill, uh, rolling hills for the first couple miles, and then that last mile, very, very downhill, and then a sharp uphill on the way back, obviously. But yeah, this is just a great place to get some elevation in. Um, really, really fun trail to run especially when you know it super well and you've done it a bunch. So yeah, um, probably like the first couple miles, I think I was like 645, 650-ish pace. And then back when I had to go on the way up, I think I was probably like 740s to eight flat. On the way back up now, so brutal this mile. Like straight down, going there, going back up like straight up. Ooh. This is what's gonna get me fit though, for that half marathon, so. We're just out here grinding. Oh, let's go. The run all finished, 6.04 miles, 42 minutes, 10 seconds, 6.59 minute per mile average pace, just under seven minutes per mile, and 696 feet of vertical gain. I do think it is a bit more than that. I know you can lose signal on your phone. The GPS can be a little faulty in the mountains, but we'll just go off what it says, uh, six miles, 700 feet. Still a great way to get in like a quick hit of vert in just six miles. And yeah, felt really good. Nothing too gnarly just yet. Just gonna build up slowly but surely over these next three weeks. Um, just finished my run with some some core stretching push-ups and some hip exercises probably going to take tomorrow easy unless i happen to be feeling very very good then i might come back up here again and get a little bit more vert but yeah just going to be as diligent as possible over these next three weeks and hopefully get uh, as fit as possible and be able to go for that three peat but yeah feeling good just going to head back to the house now 30 minutes and refuel with a little bit of food see you then
Right here we have some white rice, baked salmon, avocado, and my special sauce on top. The sauce is just Worcestershire sauce, uh, mayonnaise, ketchup, and Frank's Red Hot sauce. Super delicious and goes great on fish. And then of course some seaweed, can't forget the seaweed on top, so let's dig in. So good. Whew. So that's pretty much it for the training today, but I just wanted to say um, this year has not really been what I was hoping it would be in terms of running. The injury earlier in the year really set me back in a big way and it's it's been very, very difficult to get back into the kind of shape I've wanted to be. And um, I just really wanna end this year on a positive note. I wanna train hard for this Catalina Half Marathon, go for the win and just roll kind of into 2022, just feeling a lot better, hopefully in terms of my running and uh, just my overall fitness. And I really wanna get back into doing more like pure running content. I wanna do a lot more race oriented stuff um, in 2022 and do a lot more race prep series for you guys and just more into the daily the daily life and the daily grind of being a runner. And hopefully there's gonna be a lot of races in 2022 that I can share uh, with you guys and train for and just uh, be successful at and be happy, be joyful and just be the best runner I can be this next coming year. But I really appreciate you guys sticking with me uh, this whole year. And I'm really hoping to just build these next few months, uh, do the Catalina Half Marathon and then go into 2022 with a bang. Thank you guys for sticking with me and thank you guys so much for watching. As always, be good humans, do good things, search for happiness, peace.